We are currently at the, the Westin West in Rusutsu, Japan. And today we wanted to go to Kuchan. Because we were going to eat at a restaurant called Samoza. So we had the front desk call us a taxi. So we reserved a taxi. We did. To come pick us up the next day. And the front desk told us the cost. It was about a hundred dollars. Yes. So we thought we were booking a, a ride. Flat rate, right? Yeah, for a flat rate. Because they had a little chart with rates. Which is great. Mm -hmm. Gotta love a flat rate. When the time came, the cab arrived mm -hmm. and we got in and took off. And we noticed something. Yes. The driver started the meter running and we started on our journey. Not much we could do about it at that point. Now that we knew that the meter was running, we couldn't take our eyes off the meter. Yeah, we're getting to the same place no matter what, but there's comfort in knowing the rate you're gonna pay. But there we were, driving through the beautiful snowy countryside here in Japan, and I was just staring at that meter, watching it tick up further and further. We ended up paying about the same amount yeah. that we were told, a little bit more. But the one of the issues was, oh, where'd you go, Shreya? Ah, I'm here is that the driver got a little bit lost. He didn't quite know how to get where we were going. We wandered around a bit. I'm sure that ran up the bill. Yeah. But then we stopped in the wrong place. And at that point, you know, he stopped the meter and I said, let's just get out. We'll walk the last 300 yards or so because we didn't want to have to start the meter over again pay again whereas if it were that flat rate you could have said hey man this is the wrong stop get us to the place we're supposed to go on a side note we did have a wonderful lunch we did it was a great afternoon great little excursion the taxi did cost twice as much as the meal did <laughs> thanks Shreya. but it was totally worth it it was it was totally worth it it was a great experience and I'm glad we did it. So this same taxi cab meter dilemma also applies towards lawyers. As if you didn't know where it was going. I mean, we could have just stopped it there, but yeah, let's go deep. I mean, these days, hiring an attorney for something that is routine or something that the attorney does regularly, regularly there should be a flat rate. Yeah, it, that's how we feel about it. Yeah, it's there's a, what do you call it, Shreya? A disincentive yeah. when you're billing hourly? Right. I mean, the attorneys that I know who bill hourly, you know, they, they take notes by, by hand with a pen and paper instead of typing because it's going to take longer so they could charge more. Yeah. But using... They sit there and they ponder for a while about what to do next. So the flat rate incentivizes the attorney to um, make things more efficient for himself. It makes clients and, and people not afraid to call their attorney because they're not going to get a bill. That's the uh, biggest thing for us is I want people to call us, not wait until something is dire before being like, crap, I have to call the attorney. Oh, we're getting run over. Yeah, we're getting <laughs> run over. Billing by the hour or by the minute can end up creating an adversarial relationship between attorney and client. What might happen is that because of that hourly billing or wanting to avoid um, having the bill go up, you end up getting dropped off. 300 yards from the place you actually wanted to be and you end up having to suffer slogging 
through the snow in inappropriate shoes. We're just wandering around here. <laughs> Found the sign. In a valley. Buried in the snow. Three so. feet of snow. Here we are. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> it's the walk of shame.